Welcome to our channel, The Work of God, where we find topics of high spirituality that lead us through the paths of holiness. Today we talk about a moving story of a priest who had his tongue cut out for celebrating the Holy Mass against the law. The Holy Mass has been the object of attacks by the evil one throughout the centuries. Thus it was with violence that the devil attacked this sacred mystery using heretic. The first of these was Berengarius of Tours, France, in the High Middle Ages, during the 11th century. He was an archdeacon who, in his presumption, tried to discredit the Holy Mass. It is known that the theologians and Catholics of that time unmasked this heretic and refuted his erroneous doctrine and condemned it by the General Council of the time. This heretic repented and lived his last years as a converted son of the Church. At the beginning of the 12th century, the impious Adigentians appear in France, bringing with them ignominious dogmas such as considering marriage an illegitimate condition and at the same time encouraging promiscuity. As for the celebration of the Solemn High Mass, that is, the Latin Mass of that time, they were not offended when it was celebrated before a great number of people, but they did not tolerate the little Mass that they called Low Mass, because that is how they classified the Holy Mass when only a few people attended it. In fact, they forbade it under penalty of fines and imprisonment. Although the Albigenses had forbidden priests under severe penalties to say this type of low mass, one pious priest was not intimidated by such an unjust prohibition and continued to say the Holy Mass privately. When this became known, they immediately arrested him and brought him before the council saying to him, We have been given information that contrary to our prohibition, you have celebrated Mass which we have forbidden, being a grave offense. Therefore, we have brought you here to testify for yourself whether this is true or not. The priest, without any fear, immediately replied, I will answer you with the words which the holy apostles uttered before a Jewish tribunal, which accused them of having violated the law by preaching in the name of Christ. Hebrews 5 verse 29 We must obey God rather than men. For this reason I have celebrated the Holy Mass to honor God and His Most Holy Mother. The judges were angry at such audacious reply and condemned the pious priest to have his tongue cut out in the presence of all. The priest endured this cruel sentence with great patience. While his mouth was still bleeding, he went to the church and kneeling with great humility before the altar where he had celebrated Holy Mass before the Mother of God, he unburdened all his pain. Unable to speak, he raised his heart to her with all his fervor begging her to remedy his lack of speech. So ardent was his supplication that the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to him and with her same hand gave him back his tongue, telling him that it was restored to him for the honor that had been given to God and to her by the celebration of the Holy Mass, exhorting him at the same time to use it in this way in the future. After giving fervent thanks to his benefactors, the priest returned to the assembly, showing them the great grace he had received, thus causing enormous confusion to the obstinate heretics and all those who had opposed the celebration of the Holy Mass. This anecdote is taken from a book in which Blessed Father Caesar writes these words in the prologue to it. God is my witness that I have added nothing to all that I have seen with my own eyes and heard from the lips of men who would rather die than utter falsehoods. So, this true story should convince everyone that the Holy Mass 
especially pleasing to the Most High God. If you like this video, please give us a like. Subscribe to our channel, The Work of God. Share on social media. And don't forget to leave your valuable comments. God bless you.